Hello everyone welcome back to the channel. In recent years, Israeli security planners have been quietly investing in artificial intelligence systems designed not to fight wars on their own, but to recognize patterns, detect threats early, and help commanders act before violence escalates. By 2026, these systems are expected to play a far more central role in how Israel anticipates and prevents attacks, not through science fiction ideas, but through data, automation, and human decision-making working together. This video is not about a single secret weapon or a machine that predicts the future. It is about a broader shift in military thinking. Israel faces constant security pressure from multiple directions, ranging from rockets and drones to small armed cells and cyber-enabled coordination. Over decades, this has forced Israeli defense institutions to focus heavily on early warning. What is changing now is how early warning is produced, Artificial intelligence is being introduced to process information at a speed and scale that humans simply cannot manage alone. To understand what Israel so called 2026 AI weapon really is, we need to step back and look at how modern conflicts unfold. Attacks today are rarely spontaneous, they leave traces. Communications increase, movements change, financial transfers shift, training patterns repeat, and online behavior evolves. Individually, these signals mean very little. Together, they can indicate intent. The challenge has always been connecting these dots quickly enough to matter. For Israel, this challenge is especially acute. The country operates in a compressed geographic space with limited strategic depth. Warning time can be measured in seconds, not hours. Historically, this led to heavy investment in radar, signals intelligence, and human intelligence networks. What artificial intelligence adds is the ability to integrate all of these sources into a single analytical framework. By the mid-2020s, Israeli defense planners began openly acknowledging that data overload had become a strategic problem. Sensors were everywhere, border cameras, drones, satellites, electronic intercepts, ground radars, and open-source intelligence feeds. Human analysts could not fully exploit this information in real time. AI systems were introduced not to replace analysts, but to filter, prioritize, and highlight anomalies worth human attention. This is where the idea of stopping attacks before they happen needs to be understood carefully. The system does not stop anything on its own. Instead, it supports commanders by identifying unusual patterns earlier than traditional methods. For example, an AI system might notice a subtle change in nighttime movement near a border, correlate it with encrypted communications activity, and flag it as higher risk. A human officer then decides what to do next. By 2026, these AI-supported decision systems are expected to be more integrated across different branches of the Israeli military. Rather than operating as separate tools, they are being designed as shared platforms. Air defense, border units, intelligence analysts, and cyber teams can all draw from the same continuously updated threat picture. This reduces delays and miscommunication, two factors that often determine whether an attack succeeds or fails. One of the most important aspects of this approach is its defensive focus. Much public discussion around military AI centers on autonomous weapons, but Israel's emphasis has largely been on prevention and protection. Officials within the Israel Defense Forces have repeatedly stressed that human control remains central. AI provides recommendations, not orders. This distinction matters legally and ethically. International humanitarian law places responsibility on human decision. Makers. By keeping humans in the loop, Israel aims to use a I without crossing legal boundaries that remain unresolved globally. This approach also reflects practical concerns. Algorithms can make mistakes, especially in complex social environments where intent is difficult to infer. The geopolitical context surrounding these developments cannot be ignored. Israel's security environment includes state actors, non-state armed groups, and hybrid threats that blend physical attacks with cyber and information operations. Traditional early warning systems were designed mainly for conventional warfare. AI-driven analysis is better suited to this mixed landscape, where threats emerge gradually and often below the threshold of open conflict. By 2026, analysts expect AI systems to assist in several key areas. One is border security. Along sensitive frontiers, AI can continuously analyze video feeds to detect behavior that differs from normal civilian activity. Another area is rocket and drone defense, where AI helps distinguish between false alarms and real launches faster than before. Cyber defense is also increasingly tied into physical security, as online coordination often precedes real-world attacks. 
Importantly, none of this eliminates uncertainty. AI does not remove the fog of war, it reshapes it. Commanders may receive more alerts, but they must still judge which ones matter. In some cases, better detection may even increase tension, as early warning shortens reaction times and raises the risk of miscalculation. This leads to one of the central debates surrounding Israel's air-driven security strategy. Does earlier detection stabilize the situation by preventing attacks, or does it create pressure to act preemptively? Israeli officials argue that prevention reduces violence overall by interrupting attack planning before it reaches execution. Critics worry that algorithmic assessments could reinforce existing biases or lead to overly cautious responses. From a technical perspective, building trust in AI systems is a major challenge. Military personnel must understand not just what the system recommends, but why. As a result, explainability has become a key design requirement. Rather than producing opaque outputs, Israeli AI platforms are being built to show which indicators contributed to a given assessment. Another critical issue is data quality. AI systems are only as reliable as the information they receive. In contested environments, adversaries actively attempt to deceive sensors, flood networks with noise, or mimic normal behavior. This creates a constant competition between detection systems and those seeking to evade them. By 2026, Israel's approach is likely to remain adaptive rather than fixed. AI models are updated continuously based on new data and operational feedback. This iterative process reflects lessons learned from previous conflicts, where rigid systems often failed to anticipate new tactics. Internationally, other militaries are watching closely. Many countries face similar challenges, though few operate under the same level of constant threat. Israel's experience offers insights into how a I can be used pragmatically, without relying on unrealistic promises. Rather than focusing on autonomous combat, the emphasis remains on decision support and early warning. Public perception, however, often lags behind reality. Headlines about AI weapons can obscure the more mundane but significant changes taking place inside command centers. What is emerging by 2026 is less a single weapon and more an ecosystem of tools that reshape how information flows through the military. This ecosystem also has implications beyond Israel. As AI-driven early warning becomes more common, norms around surveillance, privacy, and preemption will be tested globally. Civilian infrastructure often overlaps with military sensors, raising questions about oversight and accountability. Within Israel, these debates are ongoing, Legal advisors, ethicists, engineers, and military officers are all involved in shaping how AI is deployed. This multidisciplinary approach reflects an understanding that technology alone cannot solve strategic problems. Looking ahead, the real measure of success for Israel's AI-enabled prevention systems will not be dramatic battlefield moments, but the absence of attacks that never happen. These are inherently difficult to measure. When an incident is prevented quietly, it rarely makes headlines. For analysts, this creates a paradox. The more effective early warning becomes, the less visible it is. Yet its influence on stability and security may be profound. By identifying threats earlier decision, makers gain more options, diplomacy, deterrence, arrests, or defensive preparations. By 2026, Israel's aid-driven security architecture is expected to be deeply embedded in daily operations. It will not replace soldiers, analysts, or commanders. Instead, it will shape how they see the world, highlighting patterns that were once invisible and compressing the time between detection and decision. In the end, the story of Israel's AI weapon is not about machines predicting the future. It is about how states adapt to complexity. Faced with constant uncertainty, Israel is turning to technology to manage risk, not eliminate it. The outcome will depend as much on human judgment as on algorithms. As artificial intelligence becomes more common in security systems worldwide, the Israeli experience offers a grounded case study. It shows both the potential and the limits of using data to prevent violence. The technology may change, but the responsibility for its use remains firmly human. If you found this analysis useful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more war updates and global analysis.